started off okay. I, uh, I birdied the first hole, but from there it just kind of went downhill. <laughs> I love I love being in Colorado. Uh, this course doesn't suit my game so well. I uh, I don't hit it far enough anymore. Uh, but I like to try. <laughs> what do you take from your days playing at CU and then getting familiar with the state like this? And you know, well, I grew grew up here. I I feel real comfortable playing at altitude. Um, like all the numbers just make sense to me. I don't I don't have like a big conversion factor that I have to go through. It's just kind of a natural number for me. Um, but it's been a while since I played in Colorado. It's been a couple of years, so it was it was hot. <laughs> when you see this uh, this this um, uh, schedule, what what do you, becomes your first mind? Trip? Home. I get to stay at home and you know see the family and just it's a real comfortable week. Uh, I never haven't played well here, but I, I still enjoy being in Colorado and just being with my family and friends. Is it similar with Sam? Is that kind of a, an easy day knowing he's a Colorado guy? And yeah, I mean, uh, my group was real real comfortable. Boo, and I've known Boone forever, and, and Sam I've known for a long time too. And, you know, it was fun to watch him play. He's swinging really good, and, you know, he's playing like you're supposed to play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, disappointing finish, but that's golf. Um, I played really well today. I, I feel like I should have shot six or seven under. And just a couple bad three putts, and then, uh, yeah, three putting 15. Uh, I made a bad bogey on, is it 14, the long par three. But that happens, it's a tough hole. And then hit two great shots on, on 15, and, and three putted for par, and those are always frustrating. And then just, just didn't think through the shot at all on the 16th hole didn't come up with a number and and it was blowing down wind and i just got up and swung and just just a silly mistake there and um you know compounded that error with a tough lie and make make double there and then um you know nice par on 17 is fine but then 18 18 i hit a really good drive my ball rolled an inch off the fairway and i had a, I had a nine iron into the green and I couldn't even get it anywhere near it. I mean, I had a bunker that was 30 yards short that I couldn't even cover. So that's that's unfortunate. You know, you, you miss a fairway by an inch and you have the worst lie you could possibly have. Um, you know, sometimes you're better off on courses like this missing it by 30 yards and that's that's frustrating because I pride myself on, on keeping it in play. Uh, so I hate to see that, but it's, um, I've gotten off to terrible starts all year long on the first round. Even my tournaments that I've played well, I haven't, I haven't shot very good first round scores. So I'm, I'm happy to at least be, you know, at, at a reasonable place. And, and I know I'm playing well, so hopefully play, you know, play great the rest of the week and, and give myself a chance on Sunday. Sure. It's just nice. It's nice to be around friends and family. It's nice to stay in my own house. It's a it's a long year. I've taken the last couple weeks. Well, we had last week we were off, and I took the week off before that. And I, I just needed a break. I've got ten tournaments left. I plan on playing them all. Obviously, I'm I'm in a position right now. Um, I'm 34th on the points list, and 30 30 cards going to the PGA Tour next year. And I. I very much want to have one of those, so I've got to just play it all out. And uh, but I feel rested, and being at home this week kind of kind of makes it a little bit less of a daunting stretch coming up. It's it's a it's a more relaxing week. It's obviously I really want to play well here. It's nice to play well in front of, of friends and family, and and you know at your home hometown home home place. And uh, I know this golf course pretty well, and uh, yeah, it's it's a fun week, and just looking forward to the rest of it. I'm just playing really well. Yeah, just hitting the ball well. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm thinking pretty well other than the 16th hole, and I just, just trying to keep it simple and, and do what I know how to do well. At the end, there probably not good running. What could you learn from your grandpa? Do you have any voices in talk, talking about that? Of what, 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 how to play, and just that. What, how's that? Why do you take that? Um, I don't think there would have been anything good between either of us on those last few holes. That's just, that's just frustrating. That's golf, you know, and that's. At this point, I've played and done this long enough. I'm not. I don't really worry about it. I um, I know what I'm I'm doing, and it's just a matter of, of trusting it and sticking to sticking to my game plan. What do you hope to accomplish for the weekend? Win. That's it. Just win. One lower than everybody else. <laughs> no idea. I I. I like this on the schedule. When you look at the schedule, when you see this on the schedule, is it? 
an extra step can do. Yeah, it's great. It's well, there's a sense of pride as well. You know, you it's cool to have an event um, of this magnitude in your in your hometown, and and for a lot of my friends and peers and um, all the you know all the great folks here that work with the Corn Ferry Tour to come out and and see. You know, they, they love coming. Everybody loves coming to Colorado. They all know I live here. They're like, man, it's great here. I, I, I get why you live here. And, um, you know, I, I like that. That makes me proud, and, and I, I'm happy that they're here.